This year, Preble County's Community Action Partnership helped host the 26th year of the annual Community Thanksgiving Dinner. Prepare for a season of shivers. According to this year's Farmer's Almanac, this is going to be one of the longest and coldest winters everywhere that we've had in a while. Welcome to NBCTC Studios. Our first story today will be about the very generous Preble County Thanksgiving Day dinner. Evening. Along with the upcoming weather that will take place this winter, now back to Julia for the turkey dinner. This year, Preble County's Community Action Partnership helped host the 26th year of the annual Community Thanksgiving Dinner. This year, they had over 80 volunteers to help serve over 650 Thanksgiving meals. Many turkey and ham meals were picked up and delivered by volunteers from Preble County. This is all done by donations from businesses, churches, and the people. Let's take a further look. I am Janelle Karen. I'm the director at Community Action Partnership in Preble County. And this is the 26th year that we have um, been the administrator for the annual Community Thanksgiving Day Dinner. Um, we serve over 600 meals. We prepare for 800 this year according to COVID restrictions. We had to do our meals for delivery and meals for pickup. We weren't allowed to have the community come together in one place to eat. Um, so we had to either do pickup or delivery. So we delivered over 200 meals and we had um, over 300 meals picked up. We also were able to serve people that didn't pre-register. We had many volunteers this year. A great group of people turned out to volunteer with cooking and distributing and delivering and cleaning up. We cooked enough meals for 800 people. We served roughly 600 meals out today and anything that we have left over will be donated to our local homeless shelter. I think events like this just go to show you that Preble County is a close-knit community. We all work together to help um, better the lives of other citizens in our community. Um, those that maybe not have family come in for the holidays can come here to get a meal or have it delivered if they're shut in, um, if they can't get out. I think we had a really good turnout this year and the event went great. We're very thankful for all of our volunteers and all of our monetary contributors. We appreciate you being able to give your time for our event. Thank you. My name is Cynthia Henry. I don't know when it started, but I missed the first couple of years, mm -hmm. but I've done it ever since. And I started out serving mashed potatoes, which is my favorite food. Yeah. <laughs> and then eventually I became a runner where they would be serving in the line and they'd need more mashed potatoes or more green beans or more whatever. And I would be running and going to get it. And that's mm -hmm. what I've done most of the time. But now with the COVID, it's kind of changed the whole situation. This is a little bit different. It's, it's been great. I do it because it makes me feel good. Right. I want to give back to the community and, you know, just, I enjoy doing it. I've done this, like I said, for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm missing a family meal from another part, but we'll have our family meal this evening. So this is right. a good time. I just enjoy doing it. Prepare for a season of shivers. According to this year's Farmer's Almanac, this is going to be one of the longest and coldest winters everywhere that we've had in a while. It looks like most states are going to be receiving above average snowfall, along with some parts of Canada. For those in the warmer western coast areas, put on your hats and coats because it's going to get a little chilly for you too. States around the mid country will be averagely cold, but snow will be abundant. So watch out for those winter storm predictions. Midwest and Northeastern states are going to be receiving above average snowfall as well. So be prepared for winter driving. All right, stay warm out there, everyone. I'm Madeline, now back to you guys. So that concludes our broadcast for tonight. We are MDCTC Studios. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Good night.